RTE's Reality Bites documentary series returns to our screens on Monday the 21st of January with Maya Dunphy taking a look at the relationship Irish women have with alcohol. Maya's come to RTE today to reveal some of the surprising things she learned while making the show. I'm Maya Dunphy and like many Irish women, I like a drink. Not in a vodka for breakfast kind of way. More that well-earned glass of wine a lot of us look forward to after a busy day. I think everything in moderation. Six units is meant to be binge drinking. That's two glasses of wine. If you're using alcohol as a way to cope, that's a difficulty. But are my generation of women really drinking to dangerous levels without knowing it? What kind of problems are we storing up for ourselves? Maya Dunphy, thank you so much for joining us today on RTE 10. Um, the clip we've just seen, um, it's from your new show, the Reality Bites series, um, Merlot and Me, and it throws up a lot of interesting points. So I suppose, Start by telling us what you learned when making this documentary and were you surprised by anything? Well, thanks for having me, first of all, Suzanne. It's great to be here. Um, yeah, I think the things that interest me, um, not just about the alcohol, like my last documentary, are things that interest other women my age in their 30s. I mean, I'm not going to go and do a documentary on the Syrian conflict because it's not something that I would know all that much about. So these are the kind of topics that interest me, I think, and interest my friends and my peers. And the idea for this, I mean, what I've learned from it I'll tell you in a sec, but the idea from it came from the fact that we seem to be bombarded. There's always been alcohol warnings on bottles, on billboards, and you know, certain times of the year, Christmas and things with drink driving campaigns. But I never saw those um, as applying to me because I don't think I drink to excess. I'm not walking around hungover every day. I don't miss work with hangovers. I'm, you know, I, I always thought that I'm completely in control. I have a healthy relationship with alcohol. But the sort of newer campaigns that, that came through um, the likes of the former Junior Minister for Health, Roisin Shorthall, and some of the new government initiatives, they were clearly aimed at people like me who are drinking at home more. From talking to the experts, like, did you, do you find we have a very relaxed attitude in Ireland? Women towards drink, is it too relaxed, would you say? It's hugely normalised. That's what, that's what I found. And if you go to someone's house now, the traditional Irish welcome of putting the kettle on, we have a cup of tea, has been replaced or added on to with or a glass of wine. And if someone is sitting at home with one of those huge big goblets of wine saying, oh, it's only one glass, but it's actually probably about three standard drinks. If someone else is drinking with them, it normalizes it. And I think we're very jokey about it. A lot of women almost joke about wine o'clock and girls' nights in. And it's very throwaway. And I'm guilty, I do the same thing. But I think it's, so, so rather than the fact that we, it, it, I think it's the normalisation of it mm. and I think if someone is drinking with you it, sort of, it validates your drinking as well and I have several friends here, if I say I'll have a cup of tea they go oh, no, come on have a glass of wine have a glass of wine we sure it's open now. So talking about the normalisation of it tell me a bit about the women that you feature in the documentary I mean are they mothers are they married are they single just talk us a little bit through who we will see featured in the programme. Well again there's lots of um, professionals and we speak to Isabel Mann who was Michelle and Glen Rowe all those years ago and she's now um, a practicing psychotherapist. So people like her, she's so animated and she's so beautiful, she's great. And she has some very strong opinions on um, women and alcohol and women specifically drinking at home. Um, and there's, we also t I also talked to a woman from Bodywise about the, again, dangerous trend of women, even women my age, you should know better. If you know you're gonna go out for a few drinks, you will cut back on your food a little bit. And lots of women, again, won't admit to that. Um, but they, they do. And I speak to Trina McCarthy, who's actually now pregnant. She wasn't when we were filming. I think she just found out. So she has a glass of wine, but is kind of, sort of tentatively sipping it. And she was telling me about drunkorexia, where a lot of women who go out a lot will deliberately avoid calories, or even, you know, what you see, hear what she says. It's a lot of it's even worse. Um, then lots of ordinary women, like me, who were, I set up a little, almost like a faux tasting booth in a supermarket and stopped women and said, look, would you pour me a standard drink, you pour me what a glass of wine is. And we had one that was marked up by a professional mixologist. And all the women like me are pouring two, sometimes three units. I mean, units and standard drinks, it all sounds very mm. technical. Like when you go home, you pour a glass of wine, you just want a glass of wine. And more often than not, you fill it to the brim because it saves you getting back up again. Um, and then I have a book club that I enjoy with my sisters in it and um, four of the girls, the six of us, three mums, three non-mums. Um, some working, some not working, a nice cross-section from about 30 to 42, I think. So, about, about a, sort of a, a decade and age range there, and we all got on so well and just chatted. So it sounds like there is a woman we can all relate to across this. I hope this so, yeah. yeah, I hope so, because that's the thing, I don't want to be sanctimonious. Mm. I mean, I enjoy a drink, and it's I, I don't particularly want to cut out alcohol for my life forever. Mm. Um, 
I have my liver test in the documentary as well, and there's lots of things that, and even if you can't appeal to, if, you, if I, I said to a doctor, if you can't appeal to um, my sense of health and well-being about, you know, inner organs that you can't really see or feel, can you appeal to my sense of vanity? So I go and see a cosmetic surgeon as well, and he talks me through the damage that alcohol can do, especially as you get older. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're 21, you can drink all night and get up and go to work, and apart from bags under your eyes, you probably look <laughs> fine, but it's not so easy anymore. Taking it back to a personal level, you're married to Johnny Vegas, the top comedian and actor. And have you guys changed any of your kind of own personal habits since you've done this documentary? I want to be more aware of it. And again, the, the Johnny factor, because I was making a documentary about alcohol, everyone keeps saying, but you're married to Johnny Vegas and he's a legendary drinker. And I don't want to shatter any illusions about him, but more often than not, he works at home a lot and he writes a lot. And he doesn't, he doesn't drink a huge amount. He doesn't drink at all when he's at home, really. And more often than not, he's got a cup of tea in his hand or over a pint of Guinness. Maya Dunphy, thank you so much for joining us today at RT10.